www.patreon.com slash final stop podcast uh there's over a hundred hours of bonus uh material look and there's a higher level of being there's a belief system that's sweeping the country the universe the galaxy some would say it's the follower of gus level tell tristan tell them what they get what you get is the divine flowing and cool surface of Gus that goes through your body. It's like uh, if you've ever seen those Coors Light commercials where they crack it open and then suddenly the frosty Denver mountains are brought to your front doorstep. People it's like that, but world. with comedy <laughs> and jokes. Join the Patreon. It's great. Enjoy the episode. See you guys later. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode of the Final Stop Podcast. I'm your host, <laughs> hey, I'm fucking doing a podcast over here. Uh, I'm your host, sorry, Daniel Bridgegat, live from the ever glorious Mescal Manor, Mach 2, dickhead. Uh, over here from the other side of the world, it's the Vampire King, King Possum, Lord Meerkat, mocking my palace. It's Tristan Bolin. I'm mocking the Mach 2 of the Mock Palace. Ooh, it's I like that. I can hear you now. Yeah, it's, it's a, a lot of. It's a- it, it, yeah, it's to kill a uh, Mescal Manor over here. Oh, it's to kill a mess. I'm gonna start calling it Mock Squared. Over here on the side table, it's the uh, it's the big man himself. It's the anti Riz Patrick Oriannons, Andrew Oriana. What's up, babes? <laughs> I haven't heard missed that. you guys last episode. Yeah, we missed. We you. didn't miss you. It was uh, honestly, if we had all three of us in the, that would have been a big fucking fun time in the heezy. We would have needed a bigger couch. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely that. saved with like Jaws attitude. It's God like damn. we're going to need a bigger couch after he just bit off half the couch. We have to fucking adjust the leveling of the camera because the couch is lopsided. The couch is lopsided. Yeah. We got to turn the camera like that. <laughs> Sir, we're taking like in water. Sir. <laughs> it was almost we're on like the third that, floor. Yeah. Sir, we're taking in water. Dude, yeah. that, place, <laughs> that place was fun. When we first got there because it was a Sonder, which I had to explain the fucking concept of a middleman because no one understood what the hell that was. It's a Because you wouldn't let me say it was my apartment because technically it wasn't. It's a like a, a Saunders' company that goes to apartments. And you just got a, an air, apartment Airbnb. Yeah. You say it that way. You understand we have to fill an hour. You, yeah, but so not with like bullshit. A, not so with the a, fucking, yeah. not with the business side of apartment gonna, Airbnbs. You're trying gonna to get fill a 500 word into essay. this and talk about like the legal referment, like the legal <laughs> representation of when you have a full kitchen in a fucking hotel room. You tell me. No, it's it was, just an extra thing. Hey, dude, if it's, you have to start bringing out a, articles, you're fucked, dude. It's not it a gives, good start. It gives a good, like, out. if you're an outsider coming into New York City, it gives you a false sense of security that that's what you're going to, that's what your apartment's going to have, well, you know, like well, a countertop and room to move. Well, I knew, well, well, a little bit, yeah, you're not wrong. I knew, I didn't think it was a bad, a bad little story. There was a couple of scuffs on the, but it's New York City. It's like, yeah, everything's going to be a little bit more grimy. You were in it, and you think it was, it was all right, right? Dude, and a countertop, like, as you would say. Dude, like, looking at Tristan looking could, at your place is like a fucking street dog looking at an apartment. Oh, dude. yeah, You're like, Daniel. Daniel, you could host a dinner party where you were staying <laughs> in. I'm lucky that cartoon bullets aren't a real thing, or else they would bounce in here and ricochet and never stop. It would just <laughs> no, be yeah, like... You're hosting cocktail parties. I had to get a call from Tristan being like, make sure Matt doesn't come by because we can't fit him. Jesus. No, I was I was at your place. You got a nice little spot over there, which I walked to because I didn't understand how the subways worked. And I was I walked an hour with a how backpack. do you? It's so simple. I know now, but I needed someone to fucking I'm, I like being the I don't like it. Just what? Show up and guess wrong, which I did. The, I'll, I'll give you the night. Please of, tell me you didn't pay. I'll, I'll give you for, the night. I'll give you the night of how our fucking the whole night ended because I did end up just costing myself. I fucking fumbled the bag and cost myself money like a fucking. What idiot. you went into the wrong side like knowing is only it was this only is why, This is why I tell you I would way rather be fucked up and have to drive myself home than fucking navigate underground. That's the last place you ever want to be when you're fucked up is beneath something. You nah, never I'm done. To... I did it the whole trip. It was fine. Well, now I it's know it's all right. Were you ever by yourself? Uh, One night, yeah. Okay. After, not the first ride you took, though. The first ride you took, you were most definitely with someone. No, the for, a whole first time I was in New York. Like, two years Dude, ago, I was all by myself. The very first time I went to New York City... I uh, took the, I came in out of, uh, I think it was in New Jersey. I was 19 Mm. and I was staying with someone here and uh, I was sick as a dog. Literally the sickest I've ever been traveling. 
mm-hmm. then I come up and I show up in Penn Station. That place is they, lit. Yeah, and then they send me an address in Bushwick and say, "Get there." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I now see how that would be scary. I'm a fucking yeah, 25, which if, almost 26 which if year old grown man. Is, if anyone who hasn't uh, traversed the New York City landscape, you look at that as a meager like two and a half, three miles, maybe four and a half. Just be like, listen, you can do that on a bicycle, easy peasy. No, you can't. Uh, you can't even get there in an amount of time that is appropriate in New York City. It is no. uh, definitely it's like, a, it's like a two hour trip. You do got a power walk. Thing I do like though, you can just open carry. No, you can't, obviously, legally. I know this. Alcohol? You can just open carry alcohol yeah. like it doesn't matter. Obviously, yeah, you that's can't. how I get home at the end of the day. After I'm done being a lunch lady, I go to this place that is on 76th and 2nd. I will never forget it, but it's called Beer Depot. And I walked past there, and I'm like, if there's ever a store just for me, it's this one right here. Yeah, that's and, not pretty. It's, it's Depot for sure. That's Beer Depot over there on the corner of fucking whatever and whatever. <laughs> going, yeah. yeah. Do you get normal? Well, first of all, I don't. The bag is just a dead giveaway. It's alcohol, so at least my like dumbass. The way I thought about it is like, as long as I don't get like a noticeable can. So I always went with some bullshit. Artisanal yeah, just go with like a tall IPA. boy. No, well, I'm saying like you can't get a Bud Light tall boy. No, no, no. That's but like, like a, if you get something like Twisted Tea tall boys, that's a dead giveaway too. It's not a dead giveaway. It looks like a Arnold. Pa- that's it the most fucking you, you frat know boy that, popular you drink there know, is. Right? You want to know how dumb this guy is? This hmm. guy right here. Do you know know how dumb this guy is? So hmm. I'll go out and I'll get a Red Bull and I'll still ask for the bag and I'll crunch it up like it's a like it's a, a like a tall boy or something and I'll drink a Red Bull like that just in case someone's like, "Hey, what is that?" I'm like, "It's a Red Bull." And remember this for the next time you ask me, you anonymous cop. I weirdly and, and understand. I understand the thinking because yeah. I also yeah. smoke weed, but you inherently are an idiot. Like just yeah, that's yeah. Like the sound. cop is gonna call all other New York City cops York City and being cops. like, "Guys, he puts a Red Bull yeah. in a brown paper bag. Let's let's get off this guy's case." He wouldn't even get past the description before the even the Red Bull in the bag. He'd be like, "Yeah, you know." About six foot, slender, pasty glasses. They'd be like, fuck, they're everywhere. Also, dude, I just found out, talking about inconspicuous alcohol, I found out Arizona iced tea makes hard seltzers now. Yeah, yeah everyone makes a shit. Kool-Aid has an alcohol No, I know, beverage. but if you want to hide your drinking habits, get a fucking Arizona hard, dude. Well, they make every fucking uh, uh, seltzer, like normal water seltzer, you like also has a, oh, you're a scumbag. Well, we'll put some alcohol in this. Ver- like Spindrift Dude, has one. Have you seen uh, Have you seen how like people can like, usually people do this for like hiding weed or something like that, but you can cut up the spine of a can and then slip another can into it. And it looks like pretty much the exact same thing, but with like a little flex in the back. But you have to be a top level alcoholic to keep... <laughs> Like Arizona iced tea can split up the spine that you can just shunk a Modelo into. Uh, I, honestly, I'll, I commend that man. Is there a world where a styrofoam cup, like what situation would that even come up in where there's not sports, a red or styrofoam? Football games, football games, sports, football like games, tailgate, tailgating. That's the- where you can't bring in alcohol. You just cut up the spine of a, like, a can of Coke and put a Bud Light in there. And then just clear tape it together so you don't pinch your fingies. I get there's so much I would have there's so mad are easier you that options. You haven't, how mad are you that you've walked out walked into a football game with a full beer and everyone else has a full can of coke and you're just I'm, sitting there you're like I gotta toss this shit to buy a fifteen dollar one on the other side. I would literally hide a better hiding spot would be my hair. I could do my hair in an updo and hide a decent sized flask and you think a nigga's gonna dig? If I have a plastic flask, they're not gonna dig around. You know, imagine black imagine if that's hair. the one time that you excuse can't, me. That's excuse, the one time yeah. you can't get mad at white ladies. Like, let me see your hair. I'm like, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. That's can't the it. secret. Do you know the best place to put it? Actually, instead of in a anything else, is your belly. Just get fucking super destroyed before you walk into it. Not if you're going to like a football game or something. You're trying to sneak in alcohol. It's a four hour event. True. True. Your have you ass. ever seen those uh have you seen those like fake things that you can buy on like novelty websites on the internet where it's Oh like, like the fake flasks? Yeah, like the fake pregnant stomachs that you could just fill with beer yes. and just being like, get your girlfriend to accomplice your alcoholism. Yeah. And then make <laughs> and then fill it with water and pretend that you're yeah. punching your baby in the in the third row. Realistically, if your girl or something has like big knockers, you can hide like 
You can hide them in between you underneath. Can hide a, yeah, you can go. You can, you can hide a bundle of shit up there. If your lady has double D's, you could feed the whole section. Or you can, well, <laughs> you, you can feed the whole I section. I was about to say, if you or are Or just on, pretend if, your your girlfriend has fat tits and just put camel bags in there. Yeah. And dude, if you, all right, you say, all right, let me put you in a situation. <laughs> you are in a thruple with the 1,200-pound sisters. <laughs> uh, how much food do you think you can sneak into your area? Because I think it's about a catering card. Yeah, that's not bad, too. And, you know, they get, like, preferential, like... Even though it's their own fault, you like, pull up a, yeah, yeah, you'd, yeah. you'd pull up a titty, and those hot dogs would be more cooked when you put them in. You could put the whole roller underneath. You get there. it steamed yeah. in there, dude. You put fucking Seven Eleven taquitos in there. Yeah, underneath. Can I my put bitches. my bun in there? Get it softer, please. Yeah. A little bit. My girl's under titty stays at a nice three seventy five. You can throw whatever you want in there. Let it slow. Let it slow. Cook. Yeah, my listen, my girlfriend. She can heat up a hot pocket one at a time, and I got to put it in yeah. her pussy, and she Damn. hates that. If big t- ew, that's a C- G- H- yeah, she keeps getting marinara in there. Boy. Yeah, she says I don't need the sleeve, but I always put that sleeve on first. <laughs> if, if big titties it's protection, are like, uh- baby, I don't want you to get an STD. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I put if- the hot pocket sleeve in first before I put this that's, hot that's pocket what in those your are pussy. For? This is a fantastic visual. I don't know why you're if, not running with it. If big titties are like ovens, then I have fucking I have a freezer basically. <laughs> It's cold as shit over there. You can't hide nothing. I didn't think you'd bring me around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what can you hide over there? Uh, I can't hide anything. I could stick a frozen spoon to my girl. can't even hide the sternum, dude. What do you think? I'm Techni- hiding. Technically, her chest is a coaster. Yeah, or like, <laughs> or maybe like a, or like a koozie, like one of those you put inside, like in a lawnmower. Yeah, the, I think the best fucking... Uh, the best definition of titties that I think I've ever that I've ever heard. I just watched it recently. It's Andy Dick in a uh, in Employee of the Month. He's like this like he works at the eyeglass place and he can't fucking see. And he's talking about this. He's talking about this bit like this blonde lady that just came. He's like you know the fucking the blonde girl with the doing doing turkeys done. And I just thought that was a sick way to talk about giant knockers. It did. It's so funny. That's such dude. a fucking seventh grader way doing, to say it. Doing yeah, doing that is such a that is done. such a weasel. That's, that sounds like that sounds like someone that's never seen tits before in their life. You can't see. That sounds that's like someone I'm... who's about to spray cheese into their mouth and ride away on a skateboard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is. I think fuck it. Well, calling calling titties anything other than titties is like that's already a stretch. I go cans occasionally. You can call them cans occasionally, go them almost every single time. Yeah, you can call them cans. I call them breasts, dude. You know, uh, we were at we were at stand up live, and uh, we were sitting in the back. It was me and uh, Densmore, the cowboy that we had on the Patreon, and uh, there was this girl that was walking by. She had an ass that was so thick you could see it from the front. Can his name? Can his nickname be the Patreon Cowboy? Yeah, the Patreon cowboy Michael Dearsmore was a uh, was sitting. We were sitting in, like the corner, and like the these this girl walked in from the door. She had a fucking oh my god! And I peeped it. And I did like the was it like a w- before you explain one, three questions? Was it fake? Was it fat? Or was it real? It was fake. For and sure, and, it was fake. and the fourth question: Do I care? <laughs> Which is <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm like you're asking a lot of questions right now. Because uh, no, yeah. like sometimes there's like there's fat chicks that have like like that you can see from the size, or it's like it's not it's not a healthy fat. No, nah, it was a uh, it it's was not a avocado got, ass. Yeah, it was where a you someone got spillover. Yeah, someone paid for me to see it from the front. We'll put it that way. Someone threw some money around so I could see it from the front. And I peeped it. And then, like, she walked by. And then I didn't look at her to see her ass from the back. And Densmore watched me do that. And he was like, oh, dude, you're a good man. I like that. And he, like, thought that I was, like, wasn't even looking at another lady because I have No, there's just a hotter chick behind (laughs) him. Yeah, I looked at him. I was was like, I looked at him. I was like, no, no, no. I peeped that. I could see that shit from the front. I didn't need to glance from the back. And he was like, oh, you're fun. I was like, yeah, you you could fucking... Glance. What kind of, what kind of, like, will you comment on a girl's ass in front of Haley? You'd be like, damn. It has to be like some. If it's just like objectively nice, and it's like, if I'm just like, I would chisel that ass out of marble. What a beautiful ass. If if it came to me in a dream, I would chisel that ass. Yeah. Like, no, I, I I would keep that to myself. But if it's just like a ridiculous butt. Like Haley has knocked me at my arm, just being like, "Look at that chick's yeah. ass," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. Like the girl, <laughs> and then front- it's a conversation at home. <laughs> yeah, I always take yeah. that and try and run with it too far. Taylor and Nudge and be like, "Dude, 
look at that girl's ass. I'm like, yeah. She's like, no. I'm like, all right, never mind. She, yeah, it looks it's a it's a good looking. Ass. I, I I definitely I automatically you go. To, to, you have to kind of look unimpressed when you're yeah. just like. You're so much better, man. <laughs> no, like I'm almost pitching a tricycle. Like she's like, look it's at that ass. Even, I'm like, it's not yeah. even that I'm looking at it from the sense of like an arousal standpoint. I'm looking at it from like a mysticism standpoint in the same <laughs> way there's like a bearded lady in the corner. I'd be like, oh my yeah. gosh. Which in this Brooklyn, girl's... that's not too far-fetched. Yeah, she's doing ass magic. Just fucking walking around <laughs> setting dudes to stone the trains. Yeah, I I... no, th- there is definitely the chick when I was going to go get my second of three PS5s. I, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this tale. Hey, what now? <laughs> hey, what? I thought yeah. you just got one for a deal and like seven coupons. They paid you for it. It couldn't go wrong. Turns How out the you... coupons were a lie. You're a fucking retard. How <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah, it turns out I didn't know that the I didn't know that after they're done with like, all right, so say if someone has like a pre-owned digital PS5, like a non okay. tray one, they take it uh-huh. and they're just like, thank you, I'm gay stop uh mm-hmm. we're gonna put this in the back and then they do like one of those flintstones tiptoe bowling roll things and then throw it into the back cupboard as hard as they can and just let all the wiring and soldering just do as they do and get covered in dust so i had to go so through bu- two of those before so you i bought went. a lemon you what? bought a lemon you bought two lemons i bought two lemons who's to say the third one's not a lemon did you get the third one from the same spot no i bought a brand new one <laughs> Okay, so, so 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 the money saved was actually spent. The money saved was actually spent on a brand new one. Minus the money that you thought was being saved when you bought God of War and other shit. Yeah, no, I got no all the God of War, all that stuff is still on my PSN account. I You're still have all that. An no, 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 but what idiot. But what I'm saying is that you thought you had saved money, so you bought those games being like, dude, I bought all this and the PS5 for the price of one PS5, and then he realized you had to buy a brand new PS5 afterwards. How did that go over with the board? When you had to go to the board and be like, here's oh, the Haley, additional funding. Dude, oh, no. Haley, uh, <laughs> Haley was uh, tooth and nail begging for me to get a new one because of the overall heartbreak that I would go through every time it shut off. And I would have to disassemble it and blow air in it and then, like, take the fan out. Like, I did, like, basically, like, menial electronic t- IT work just to get so, my PS5 to fucking function. And it never so, did. You spent two fifty on a lemon, so two fifty is just to the wind. Off of a, off of a, and, and a brand new one costs what? I'm, I'm gonna say six? I probably saved like about ten to fifteen dollars. All, all, uh, <laughs> all said and done. And so much you had to unassemble and go back twice. Well, the, the ten to fifteen dollars doesn't accommodate for the drill set and the in the screwdriver I had to buy. And the canned air, which I did get, I did get fucked over at the hardware store because the guy told me yeah, that you're electric- a mark in a hardware store. Yeah, no, it got, got fucked, fucked over. So this fucking, this fucking dude, I'm not gonna say where he's from, but totally not in the United States. Uh, <laughs> like he takes me in there, and I'm like, yo, I need this drill bit set, and I'm like, I have a replaceable magnetic screwdriver. Would that work for this? And he's like, no. No, you need this one. And I'm like, all right, sure, I'll trust you. Put it in there, and it's like, I'm like, okay. I go back to the house, and I'm like, just for the shits and giggles. You didn't even try? I didn't have the screwdriver with me. No, with the the magnetic bullshit you're talking about? Yeah, no. I So I bought his screwdriver. I bought the drill bit set, and then I go back to my house, and before I put in the new screwdriver I bought, I'm like, just for the shits and giggles, just for a laugh. Let's just see if it works in the old drill bit set. And boy, oh boy, did it fit in just like a glove. It just slunked right in there and it said, "Mm -mm -mm, my home. What next, boss? Do you want to open up this PS5 that you're going to have to bring back to Bushwick for the second time? Yes, I will, Mr. PS5. Yes, I will. There's not a GameStop in between fucking Bushwick and your place? No, the nearest one is in Union Square, and it's a piece of shit. I've already had my words with those people, and I will not be going back there. (laughs) The fact that now that I know geographically, I already have my words with those people, and I will not be coming back to that establishment. Thank you. 
And Tristan, you can tell, now, thank that, you, that, good day, sir. Thank you, good day. Yeah, and you can tell Ken to eat my ass while you're at. Just have a specific dude, guy. You beef just being a full on adult having beef with GameStop employees is such a funny well, thing. Well, he's to not. Know. A, this is he's fucking a thousand dollars for a five hundred piece of a five hundred dollar piece of machinery. I now. know, but just being like, I don't fuck with that side dude, of town because it, of the GameStop. Breaks, after it breaks for the second time, you're gonna get saucy in a GameStop in Union Square. I promise you. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You're going to get saucy. And you're going to get well, fucking yeah. saucy, dude. Because the GameStop employee is just like evil you. It's just like like you should be working at a GameStop. No, if you were dude. such a talented no. comedian, you'd be working no. at a GameStop. No. No, dude. This fucking cunt. This <laughs> this absolute cunt. This buzz cut cunt. I hate her. Uh, she. So I'm sitting there, and I'm returning my PS5. <laughs> This and sounds I'm like a bad street joke. So a lunch lady and a GameStop employee were fighting yeah. over a PlayStation in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a shitty improv prompt. Yeah. Then a donkey comes in and yells aristocrats. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> no, but uh, no, I went in there and I was trying to trade in my PS4. And I was just like, can I just use the money towards this PS4 to get a PS5? And... He's like, yeah, let me see if I can add some more discounts to that. And then the chick literally is in talking with someone, looks over when she hears the word discounts, pulls the guy aside and says, and then comes back to me. She's like, that's not the order of operations that we go here. And I literally looked at her and I'm like, what is the order of operations? I like that order of operations. That order of operations is good customer service. And like Haley is grabbing my arm and I'm just like, yeah, I think I should get that. I'm like, unless you want to see me drop a tactical nuke in this fucking GameStop, dude. I'm about to freak out. I'm about <laughs> to talking, freak out. You're nerd threatening. Unless, unless you want me to AC 130 this whole fucking GameStop If right you want to see me not go to power level 1,000. Dude, I yeah. swear to God, I'll slide glitch gonna, this whole fucking place right now. I'm going to wall gonna, hacks this GameStop right now. I'm going to burn down your Farmville with my brain. Tristan starts start charging up. He goes full fucking super. <laughs> Haley's like, no, Tristan, not here. Not now. Not again. He's like, mm, it's too late. Fuck you. Fuck you. He's going off. Because you know you did that. Because you know. <laughs> no. Because you no, know it wasn't, you did that. It wasn't. No, it was never. It's never shit like that. It's just me. It's me saying stuff to Haley that's like loud enough for them to hear it. And then just being like, I'm not talking to you. That's the type you, of stuff that gets me You just reposition Haley to right in front of the GameStop employees. I, I swear to God, if this buzz cut cunt doesn't fucking no. help me out. No, I, I'll, I'll look over at Haley. I'm like, these people are fucking retarded. And then she'll look at me and she'll be like, I'll be like, I'm not. Yeah, do my thing, please. I'm about like, to make this, this motherfucker's eyes match his hair. Black and blue. This It doesn't Come concern on. you. I thought that was all right. There was, we'll blame it on the distraction. <laughs> Haley just came in uh, from her walk, covered in rain, with her nose dripping. And she oh, said, by the way, I don't know if we should. You, you should probably let her know now. There's a, there's a pretty nice room mic in the room now that has not been there before. I can hear everything. We can, I can hear everything. I can put subtitles clear. in right now. <laughs> oh, like, okay. I there's a room exactly mic, babe. <laughs> this blue snowball is a room mic. It, just to catch up on like so they can hear us he can hear everyone can hear everything you're doing i can hear oh it's oh it's weird it's good no it's good i like it and she can't hear us but we can hear everything i can't i can't i can't yeah. see it but i heard no. the eyes roll let her know how to let her know how crystal clear it is i've heard cody's heart stop three different times <laughs> <laughs> no if you you would have heard it if it was on the audio for the laptop it's he's he's over sitting by there right now yeah but, uh, like no, we had a me and Haley had a fun little excursion last night. It wasn't really it was an indoor fun. It was indoor fun. We were uh, so I was going I was playing with tiny. I was playing with tiny baby. And then I heard uh, I heard um, what's it called? I heard a fun. <laughs> I heard Haley said there's a guy getting in a fight outside. So immediately I'm like tiny. Let's put this on the intermission. I have to go investigate the fight outside. So we like stand by the window and there's just a guy laying in front of our stoop just in a full Patrick star 
Just like laying on the floor. He wasn't knocked out. He was just, he's been there like He's that. just vibing. Yeah, he's just hanging out. He's vibing. But the thing is, there's a lot of foot traffic on my street. So me and Haley spent like the better half of 10 minutes of people just walking over this guy and like dogs smelling him. And then him being yeah. like, Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> and like, uh, that usually doesn't happen on my side of town. But it was very funny just watching like the concerned older whites come in just being like, are you okay? And he's like, Fuck you. And he's like, all right, I guess he's fine. Yeah. He wouldn't be and so he, mouthy if it was instead of foot traffic, if it was foot traffic. You just had a bunch of ninjas with attitudes running around ready to beat ass. You're like, what are you yeah. doing here? Like, no. <laughs> Is that what uh, the, the the turtles bad guys are called? The little foot ninjas? Foot soldiers. I don't get enough. Yeah, shut, foot clan. I don't foot get clan, enough yeah. credit on this goddamn podcast for not talking about sport. This is the NFL season, goddamn. We're in the back. I don't say nothing. I Foot clan references? Assholes. Assholes. I appreciate Real- you. I appreciate that. I think so. I think so. It took me a second to realize what you were talking about. You but know, you, you, you try and claim nerd too much. I throw around a lot of nerdy reference. I no, reference you throw, some- like, inside baseball. You reference, like, you reference. Uh, they you. have a fucking ho- It's one of the biggest fucking card th- th- this guy no, i know this guy. No, i see both sides. A- sometimes you do sometimes you do throw out some shit where i'm like damn that's impressive that you know that no i throw out some other yeah shit, some no. star wars I throw out, same- i'm trying to defend both of you right now it's like other i don't know other- why everyone's guns are out so big you're right? the one you're on the mouth fuck no no usually it's like it, you kind of most of the times you quote th- something from a cartoon and it's like half wrong <laughs> uh, that was the second it, half yeah so like, you guys remember say. the cartoon cat pigeon you're like no they know <laughs> it was cat di- and- <laughs> you remember yeah. lion per- penguin dude you remember that cartoon? Yeah, you remember the lion prince one and a half <laughs> yeah did you guys ever watch that movie the lion the witch and the cat dog and you're like no i've never seen that <laughs> I've never seen that. Uh, dude, Akuna Matiti, t- Timon and Skimor, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Chronicles of the uh, the Chronicles of Hakuna Matata. You never seen that? <laughs> yeah, dude. I even I even like the newer animated stuff, like the Good Ferret. You never seen Toys Tales, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Toys Tales. A lot of people say that the Chronicles of Hakuna Matata are based off of the Torah. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, <laughs> obviously, I know t- fucking Toys Tales retard. That's where Darkwing <laughs> Duck came from. <laughs> And no, it, that's where Batwing Duck was. And then was Buzz Lightspeed, dude. Do you yeah. remember him? Yeah. <laughs> Buzz Lightspeed is very fun. Like that's Buzz not, Boy. That sounds like that sounds like they opened up a fucking ghetto amusement park outside of like you know like a an off- like a Kroger no, buy- a Kroger Toy Story World. That's how you buy pinatas from fucking Ranch Market, dude. Yo, can I yeah. get Buzz Lightspeed, dude? Bud, Bud Lightspeed's Bud Lightspeed. Bud Lightspeed. Can I get? Uh, <laughs> Can I get Buzz That's Lightspeed and Optimum Truck, please? <laughs> Optimum Truck? That's fucking horrible. Optimus Primo, dude? Yeah, that yeah. has to be the name of the episode. That's fucking Yeah, good. Primo Holy Optimismo. <laughs> dude, Bud Lightspeed's good. I like that. Go, Can Patrick. I get the car uh, that's the Hornet? It's not Bumblebee. It's the Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the Wasp, please? The Transformer? Yeah. Can I get Diego? We have Diego. Can we get Diego? <laughs> We have the licensing right for Go Diego Go. <laughs> they never, they should have really done more with that nigga. That's one of the most slept on cartoon characters of a generation. Dora did her thing. I understand. This fool Diego worked at like a rescue park. What was Dora doing every day? Free roaming the neighborhood. She should have been back at her abuela's house. I don't know what the fuck she was doing. Diego and Baby Jaguar run around saving spectacle pandas or whatever the fuck. Yeah, there are. They didn't have the star system, though, dude. The star system was goaded. (laughs) They didn't have the stars. Yeah, sorry there wasn't a fucking pervy pedophile fox trying to fucking feel up everyone in Diego. They realized that that probably shouldn't be in a kid's cartoon. Yeah, you got to have. Dude, first off, swiper, no swiping. You got to get. We got to stop that. Well, you know, sometimes he would win. You know, occasionally he would win. Like he would yeah. get close, they'd be like, brum, 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 swiping, brum, brum, brum. and then like he was just jacked. Did you uh, their did you shit. ever see the <laughs> episode of Dora where it was Swiper at the Nuremberg trials? Did anyone watch that? <laughs> swiper swipes the launch codes. They should have yeah. given that nigga. His, they should have given like a Swiper or Swiper so swipes was... the 2016 presidential election. <laughs> swiper swipes the Capitol building. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they should have dove, dove into Swiper. Maybe Swiper's just from a bad part of like, the like, forest. Which, Maybe- uh, which camera is watching Swiper take a shit on Nancy Pelosi's desk? 
and he's just like zooming in on different shows, and then like the hand comes up and clicks one of them. It's like, Bro. yeah. Bro, free my man fucking Swiper. What they don't tell you is he had to watch his dad get killed, and then that hunter came back the next season with his dad on a hat. They don't tell you that about Swipe. That's actually Densmore's first TV credit. <laughs> is the dude that killed Swiper's dad. Yeah. yeah. Came back with a fox pelt. God damn. Is Swiper Swipe a that fox? Back. Yeah. He's a fox with a with a bandit mask on and, and, and a gloves fucking aggressive and... accent. Yeah, yeah, it is all like loud. <laughs> what does Swiper sound like? I forget. I think it's like uh, New York, New York Latino, if that makes sense. So, so a Puerto a Rican? Yeah. So a Puerto Rican or Dominican? Well, there's, there's a couple. There's a couple. It could be, but yeah, like New York, New York Latino for sure. And he's just what? Because Dora. Hey, yo, not. Dora, what the fuck you doing, eh? <laughs> a B, yo, Dora, what the fuck you doing? Yeah. Yes, can you imagine a, sw- a, huh. a, sw- a wait? So Dora is Ice Spice, and well, Swiper, no. <laughs> and Swiper's a Munch, and Swiper's yeah. the original Munch. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, that's Boots Dog. Yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. Dora's like, and Dora's like, say my map's fat. Yeah. Say they go and even know where they at, right? <laughs> Boots, boots, boots. They never showed it, but you know, because like every episode was a uh, Dora leaving or a boyless house. You know, the second the fucking second they left, she was talking shit about. I don't know how you say monkey in Spanish, but she was definitely throwing that around the second they left the house. Why the fuck is he walking around with a monkey in red Timberlands through the fucking <laughs> forest doing God knows what and touched up by a fox? She had friends, though. She had friends. She had a really ghetto iguana. Do you boots remember Issa? It. If in the in the Brooklyn uh, Dora the Explorer, Boots is just called Tim's. Yeah, the, Boots. The, okay, uh, so there's an iguana. There's Benny the Benny cow, the bull, the bull, or the bull. Yeah, Benny the cow. What? That sounds like a mob. I'm just looking at him, dude. I'm just looking at him trying <laughs> to there guess. Was Benny the, there was Benny the bull, Issa the iguana. There was the map. There was. Let me see if I can name all the characters. There's the backpack. Hold on. There was uh well these are these are DLC characters but there was a Boyla she's not original there was the um I'm the grumpy old troll yep who's that's exactly under the under the bridge. Bridge. dude that's actually exactly the, the name that they troll. have right here grumpy old troll who lives under the bridge I'm the boy like the troll who lives under the bridge <laughs> answer these riddles where are you yeah. born <laughs> answer these three riddles or these ice agents are gonna take you and that. Fucking monkey, back to where you came from, dude. Swipers just, just swipers the coyote trying to get them across. Yeah. If you want to yeah. come over, all you have to do is this. All you have, to, and it's like a stack of paperwork. It's like, it's like all you have to do, yeah. is, have to do is this. Wait, eighteen years. I did that or join the arm. I did that or join the army. <laughs> That'd be fun. Dora the Explorer is just an anchor baby, and her parents got deported. That's why she's at. That's why she's at grandma's house exploring every day. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we found out that Dora the Explorer was actually the backstory for AOC? <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. It's like it's her little bill, dude. Because she yeah. does. She asks. She curves niggas on like the in in politics the same way Dora asks for. You know, Dora would just be like, you know, where do we go next? And then she'll just wait and just kind of be like, it's on you, AOC. It should be like say some kind of cunty shit. Just like, oh yeah, John. And then just kind of wait for John to like pick his own fate somewhere. He's like, uh, the bridge, I guess. We'll go that way. Did you yell? You knew you were too old. For- I were doing a lot of Dora material. You Sorry, you I, too- I was I was looking up something on the on the side. But what were you mm-hmm. saying after you go into it? You're saying. You knew you got too old for Dora when you started yelling when that bitch would pause. You're like, where do we have to go next? You're like, I didn't. Definitely- I wasn't. I wasn't that deep into Dora. I never really watched it at the level to where I could remember every single character off the dome like you did. Well, my mom ran in, my mom ran an in home daycare when I was when I was young. Ew. So there was just Yeah. Those kids getting hit. Were you the first kid she brought in? I came out of her. <laughs> yes. So to no before that she worked with uh handicapped kids. Just a gaggle She of, still does. <laughs> there you go. That's good. What'd you have? What'd you look up? Uh did you guys hear about uh <laughs> the guy George Santos? Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, he lies about everything and just smiles through it when they talk to him about it. No, but did you hear what he was spending his campaign funds on? Yep. Yeah, only yep. fans. Only fans. <laughs> but that's at a height. What they're not telling you is that's at a heightened 
He made the average male. Look up here's. They, I guarantee they have a stat for it. What's the average male? He was spend buying. On he was buying Botox, OnlyFans, and French designer jewelry. Then I, that nothing seems more American to me than OnlyFans, whatever the fuck you just said, and French designer jewelry. That's honestly, as American as it gets. Honestly, uh, between one hundred and fifty and eight, uh, one hundred and fifty and one hundred and eighty dollars a month. Watch this. Okay, the average males. What? That's yeah. not even that much. You're really <laughs> making that much of a pickle over spending uh, one hundred and eighty okay, bucks. You can spend look, that on parking tickets. Well, no, I'm saying it's all to scale. So one hundred and fifty bucks, we'll say. Look up what the average male makes. It's like fifty thousand dollars. Just oh, you, turn you, that to the scale of what George Santos makes. He's barely spending anything on these bitches. Dude, there's so many photos of like him and Margie. He's Mar- sex positive. I don't know what everyone's making a big deal about. Thank you. I saw this Twitter thing that said, just like, oh my God, he follows me and I rated his dick. And then a bunch of people were just like, do you know how they do dick ratings on OnlyFans? Which, by the way... What a terrible way to ruin an OnlyFans experience, huh? Yeah. Imagine if you're just sitting there and you're just like, man, this chick is so hot. I'm going to anonymously send my dick her way. And she's just like, ew, in a private message. Like, what did you no, just be that's, like? That's not what you use, ew. Well, no, that's what those that's what those guys want. Because if your dick doesn't garner an ew, no, you just send obviously to, you're paying money for her to be for like, her to you have a great dick. Well, because, or, yeah, no, yeah, you're, not, you're, so, hoping, you're not paying. You're 80 20. You're 80 yeah. 20. You're like 80%. <laughs> she's going to love this dick, dude. 20%. It's my nightmare, and I knew it was real this entire time. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, it's the opposite because it's literally 100% as you. They want her to belittle hit their dick because if they had a dick, then when you sent it to girls, it got a good reaction. You're not paying, you're not sending it to a girl you're paying for. You're sending that out freelance into the world. Like if you have like a, oh shit, that guy's hung, you're not. Paying a girl. $15. Well, I was I was thinking of it more from the perspective of why dudes go to strip clubs because I mean, dudes, literally, ugly dudes go to strip clubs to be like to have the girls be like, dude, you look so hot right now. Like literally, the best case scenario for one of those dick rating things is just being like, oh my god, your penis. I've been look. I've been sketching this cock for months. I I need you to come visit me. I'll pay all all flight. You come in here, yeah. and I just want to study, if not suck or touch your penis. I've been searching the I've been searching for. This, this is the cock yeah. of destiny. Dude, like, you yeah. got El Dorado, Dick. That's a city of gold right <laughs> yeah, there. That's what they're hoping for. Yeah, worst case scenario is, like, you fucking, you send them no, a worst photo case, of your worst, dick. Worst case scenario, you get you left instantly. on red. Yeah. yeah, they block you instantly. Yeah. Why is my dick pick on green? Fuck. That's got to be, that's got to be a you, tough sell. Have you uh have you sent your cock out? Yeah, of course. Have you sent your cock out? Nah. Maybe you start sending your cock out more. <laughs> Maybe you should start sending your dick out. <laughs> Do you think you could use your fupa as a tripod to some degree <laughs> to get a really good selfie of your cock? Get like no, a real like nice angle. And just hold it in together. <laughs> I just push I, my tits together to hold it in. Touch it with your nose. Like a clamp, yeah. If anything, I'm just going to start doing those cock rating things on Instagram and then just send them really detailed, like, uh, photoshops of my cock in places it shouldn't be. Like, uh, you just send them, like, a Where's Waldo of a hundred different penises and being like, mm-hmm. uh, he, rate my cock if you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, maybe just, like, one where it's, like, the Leaning Tower of Pisa and someone's holding their hands up like this against it. Just a real Fun. waste of money. <laughs> do you know how much it's going to be? Do you know how hard it's going to be to explain to Haley that I'm not cheating on her with online people, that I'm just sending elaborate photoshops of my penis in different precarious scenarios <laughs> to these random women? Do you know how hard that I'm going to have to? It's going to be a goof, but to anyone else, you know, it seems adulterous. Just your whole cock painted green next to a bunch of like sliced pickles. There's, there's a face in your cock. Like, ah! <laughs> yeah. No, it would just be a. It, no, I'd like paint my entire self green, including dick and balls, completely naked, and then step in front of a green screen and just being like, I'm here. Rate my cock. You can't see it. What's wrong with you? Yeah. I didn't like it either, Cody. It was bullshit. Or is that Cody tiny? just said waka waka. Yeah. <laughs> you got a you got a cat waka. Oh, 
I just think, I think it'd be funny if just like there's like it's like a green screen of like a normal ass room and it's some guy raiding his cock and then just like what's that behind him? It's been a green screen this entire time and he's just surrounded by like a bukkake bang buzz of dicks just around yeah. him the entire time. You just have a dude pretending to tell the weather. You're secretly there the whole time hard. Yeah. Yeah, just like this is a PSA. A green man jerking off could be anywhere. <laughs> I have a I have a fun story where <clears throat> we're towards the back and you guys you guys will enjoy this. It's DBG gets lost in the big city. Where so we're down there uh after a night of running around doing comedy, I beat Tristan's ass in Battleship, which I did see that on I didn't Instagram. think I had a chance I in hell of beating his dumb ass at that game cuz he is good at, at every stupid fucking video game there is. Piece this nigga up like there was no t- like it was the U.S. If trying I, to conquer. If, there, like, if you didn't sink one of my ships before you did it, I would have had the comeback of a century, and you know it. Yeah, but now, but now you're fucking whatever country you were fighting for is glass, and it doesn't, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> you got your shit fucked on in a public setting. Although, okay, so we're at an open mic in Brooklyn. It was okay. Tristan was laughing because he could see me having to worry about not offending a room full of he she's and they's and who's. And uh, <laughs> after we do that, we're like sitting down the front and uh, we're playing Battleship. I have to look around. I hate so bad. It pisses me off. And probably because I just don't understand it, that this nigga gets any sort of female attention, even kind of. Because we're playing this like Battleship game and there's no like, you just have to look away while the other person's like setting their ships. And so while I'm uh, setting my stuff, Tristan just like walks over to some like fucking Galactica, Dig Dug, whatever the Galaga. hell. Galaga. No, there's Galaga. A Galaga. Yeah, you didn't a... know what Galaga hey, was? Hey, hey, we just did a whole dumb thing about you being too nerd. Shut, shut up, cat dog. It's Galactica, Galaga, fucking Kang the Conqueror. No, Galaga's huge, Galactus. dude. Tristan's it's like over not there knowing playing. what Halo is, dude. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Tristan's playing a, a fucking old video game, and these two bimbos just in the corner, one of them spins around immediately, and is just like, throws a stupid, just like definitely hitting on him line at Tristan. This nigga said nothing. He didn't say a word. He walked up and started playing video games, and this girl turned around like, oh my god, I've never seen anyone play this machine. It's like, Ugh, what the fuck is this about? I now realize, now that I said this, I don't know how I expect you to comment on said scenario based on the my given apologies for oozing riz <laughs> <laughs> i have yeah, a that... riz aura about me yeah that did piss me or off riz. I... yeah or is i have an aura riz, an or riz going on which sounds like a pretty good it like substitute for zen or riz yeah. <laughs> or riz you got riz a lip full like... of or riz six milligram i'm buzzing Sounds like a fucking draft pick, dude. Or Riz Jackson, second second <laughs> yeah, round of the Jets. From the Ohio State. Yeah, from the Or Riz Jackson, the Ohio State <laughs> University. <laughs> nah, Or Riz Jackson sounds like a guy who uses high school. Or Riz Jackson, Johnson High School. He's like, all right, Or Riz, I see you. Um, yeah, no, okay, so we are, here's, let me finish the story. So we were at that bar in Brooklyn. Then we went to some other spot, did a little mic, then we went to the stand. After the whole night or whatever, I leave that, and I think I'm very confident on how to get back to Wolfgang and Rowie's house where I was staying because I stayed there for a night when Taylor was in Albany. And uh, I was not. Turns out, was more confident than what I actually had the skills to deliver with. And it was a tough situation because I got on. You were just like, yeah, you go this way. Get on this fucking one thing. It'll take care of you. This, yeah. Immediately got going the wrong way. All while Rowie and Wolfgang are like bickering amongst themselves as to who is supposed to receive me at said crib Rowie's at like a, th- a fucking party wolfgang's at like his bitch's crib they're both like whatever i didn't meet i met almost everyone in that house i met like the other lady they live with some other comic that was over there i didn't meet Rowie's girl and she was gone when i was there i was sleeping on the couch i get back wolfgang finally like lets me it's like two in the morning at this point because i was going the wrong way on the subway, I like hopped. You didn't the, look it up. I thought I did. I didn't understand. Wait, fucking and I shut up. Far, shut up. How far the wrong way did you go? I don't know. Is, is <laughs> <laughs> wait, what train I were you hopping on? Why are you asking follow up questions? I already I told was you in I Antarctica. <laughs> I don't know how I got there. There were trees. You understand how fucked up that is? <laughs> you saw trees. There were trees. Dude. 
<laughs> you're you're like, to like Staten Island. Dog. You ran into like Harlem. Where I did you don't go? No, I don't act. <laughs> shut up. I don't know where I was at, but I was because I was fucked up because the whole night we were where drinking. Where did you go? When I sent you off, you were below ground. How did you get above ground? I should kind of preface this. Okay, so before, <laughs> like, as I was walking from my place where I was staying in, like, I guess what it's called, Midtown or something like that, all the way to where Tristan stays, that I drank three tall boy ipas because i was just experimenting Ooh. you do, wait on the walk over you drank three tall boy ipas that's an hour that's six ipas in an hour so you didn't know that so on the way got, to my house yeah oh yeah and you didn't and, know that i didn't know that no because i hide it well baby and so i get to i get to your house and i'm already oh my jesus christ and then didn't we i could tell drink? because you were very nice to Cody. no no, don't say you could tell now. You had no fucking idea. You were what was going the pieces on. are the pieces are coming together though. The, pie, the pieces are coming. They're falling in place because as soon as you saw Cody, you're just like, oh, hey, little guy. Instead no, I of just I like said instantly I talked a lot of shit about you. <laughs> yeah, you're like I talked a lot of shit about you, and then you just kept petting him a little bit. And I'm like, oh, maybe there is a heart in there. Never mind, you're a plastered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I came, and then didn't we get didn't we get an alcoholic drink? Where was the first drink we had? We got a drink somewhere. Uh, we got it from like a bodega. No. Yes. No, we had two. We had two. Did we have a drink in Brooklyn? No, I had a drink in Brooklyn. I had another IPA. I had two drinks in Brooklyn. I had an yeah, IPA. Had drink. You had two drinks because one was a PBR with me while we were playing Battle. Yeah, Club. but I, I got an IPA for myself while we were waiting for the even mic to start. And then, okay, so that's six. Each, and IPAs are like, they were like, at no, least. No, don't start. You had eight drinks so far. But they were like eight. I made sure I got nice guys with cool wrapping, so it like wouldn't alert the cops. So I'm getting like eight percent beers. That's eight percent normal beers are four. So that's already times two. I'm si- I'm twelve Bud Lights by the time I got to Tristan's house. Then I essentially have uh, everything is a Bud Light math. Then I have two more Bud Lights in the first IP. Went up What's the exchange went up rate. On What's the exchange rate? Went, went up on the new. Uh, went up on the too many host mic ran a material. Ran what am I gonna What am I gonna do? Be drunk and try new shit and not do well? I don't know who's no, there. I it was to... funny just watching you run a material with the cadence of a room far larger than it is. Just doing it with like the cadence of being like, you know, so I got the thing that you're supposed to get her. No, 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 that was because those blue hair fucking picking any weird niggas didn't fucking, they don't, no. you're doing it like you're doing a sold out no, improv, no, no, literally, it's because, literally. It's because, no, it's because the four niggas in front of us, not dude, only, if you, if you green screened his set, you could put him in celebrity theater, dog, That's I, walked Daniel, up. Daniel I go, ladies, up ladies, gentlemen, of, they's Daniel, and them's, how are we doing? Daniel kind of came up abrasive and immediately sang the N word. <laughs> no, no, I did not. Don't besperch my in name. In the first two sentences, was, no, not you were even saying, in the "Oh, first... I was. I'm going to be the one to break the N word barrier no, here." <laughs> no, the You're very comedy Jackie Robinson. You're of shut. <laughs> well, I did say that, but it was later. You're forgetting that I walked up and said, "You guys look like if aliens were playing Earth oh, the video yeah. game and just selected random on every. You guys look like just a bunch of random individuals in Earth the video game." Yeah, and then they yeah, did it like he, that, he, he, yeah. obviously. They didn't like it because each one of them perfectly coordinated their outfits to the button. Yeah, well, and everyone before went before coming us. There. Everyone that went before us was a was a them they who had just recently went through a breakup. And then I come up and I'm like, that's why they didn't laugh at the fucking I went out and I got her the thing that I sh- – uh, but uh, because to dude, them that's not a misdirect. To them that's like, dude, a, yeah, I don't believe in sure. an institution of marriage and fucking polyamory still isn't legal. I can't buy rings. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they looked at me after like she left me, and then three weeks later she converted to a he, and now they're dating in a throuple. I'm hurt. I'm so hurt. My dad won't talk to me, mommy. And I'm like, eight year relationship. I got a cat instead of a ring. And they're like, do you understand me? Do you understand me when I say I'm like, I have a hard time working out my challenger bit at these places (laughs) where I'm just like, I'm walking up there. I'm like, who was alive in 1986? And everyone was like, you're an asshole. And I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. Yeah. I don't care. Well, that's, I I, I told you what happened when, uh, because we had the hangman at, at Brooklyn Art House and there was a show happening cool guys that cool people that run the show but one of the comics when we saw we i turned around and they got on stage and they're like so uh my boyfriend just cheated on me and so i ran him over with my car Mm -hmm. and then 
st- legitimate standing ovation, Tristan. Mm-hmm. Legitimate standing ovation. People were on their feet clapping. Well, was that like, during I- Comedy Hangman? No, it was like there was a show outside uh, uh, in like the lobby of the of Brooklyn Art oh. House. Oh, well, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> and that's- I was like, "Yo, dude, what is happening right now, no. dude? What the that fuck? That place is, is a this? goddamn zoo. I'm gonna be trepidatious about how often I frequent it. But then we left there, so we're twelve Bud Lights in for if you're for those of you keeping count at home. We're twelve Bud Lights in, possibly thirteen. Depending Daniel out of Bud Light, yeah, counter. depending on if you're in Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then so we get to the the second place. It depends have... on whether you're south of the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, where's the Missis- where's the Mississippi River according to where you're at? So yeah. we're we're like twelve Bud Lights, and we go to the second place. Two Oktoberfests, and uh, at an open mic with like nine all bros there just hanging out. Then we go to the stand. Two more, no, just one, just one. So at the, it finished the whole night. 14 and a half Bud Lights. I got to get on a subway to get from the stand to Brooklyn somewhere. And literally, right? like, that's, and, that's where we're at. The thing is, I, Daniel has his directions on his phone. I show him. I pull up. Bud I pull Lights. up. I pull up the directions on my phone to show him how he needs to get into the train. And just being like, go straight down here. Just go down into the left. You'll see this. Get down. You're going to be going fine. And he's like, okay. And then Wait, I, you were at the stand hammered? Not notably to any I'm oh a very my good God, drunk. Dude, come on. I'm a dude. very good uh I walked into the you stand. You weren't and, honestly, I thought you were being shy that night. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm a very good I'm not a problem drunk. It's I'm more of like a my internal health is the issue drunk, but not no, I never caused, no, I, never I thought you were I thought you were being shy. I'm like, there's many times where, well, like, you- we'd be talking amongst people. Daniel would say something and wouldn't get picked up. And then that's the last I've heard from Daniel for two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then- well, cause, do you know what it was? Because I was hammered trying to be like, don't make an ass out of yourself. Don't be a retard. Don't be a re. So if I'd say something, I was like, yada, yada, yada. Nope. All right. <laughs> it just fuck- Some girl called me vanilla. There was a chick. She was like, you're like kind of vanilla. I was like. Good. This means I'm doing a good job. I was like, I haven't fucking soiled the plant yet. And just said some crazy... A lot of trans niggas walking around here. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's a fucking they, them. What's that about? <laughs> yeah. That's what I didn't want to say. Yeah, it was funny. It was very funny. I did watch I did watch in real time what I'm going to have to experience many a times uh, with Daniel being in New York City. It was when uh, we walked into the stand. There was like a couple comics, stand comics, who I know really well. Uh, hanging out at the at the table, Daniel goes to get get us a drink, and one of the chicks immediately goes, "She's like, is your friend single?" I'm like, "He's engaged to Stop. a Stop. And I told him, I was like, "What is that? What are you doing?" Wait, Give it was a-, a comic. Yeah. All right, I'll ask after, but that's very funny. Yeah, no, and it was funny because later on that night, she was like, "Does he cheat?" And I'm like. <laughs> Right. And I'm like, you, no, you he doesn't it. cheat. Not that I know of. And she's like, he definitely cheats. And I'm like, I think you're just saying that because you're trying to speak it into existence. And I'm like, I think that's something that you're just trying to cultivate in your brain. That bitch and I'm is like, messy. What follow up question? Is and that? I'm like, and I'm like, I was sitting there. I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna hard cut to two hours later where you're just gonna be sitting there kissing him with like Bugs Bunny like lipstick on just being like aren't i a stinker and then just go back to kissing him (laughs) she says what's up doc before she crams my carrot what's up doc just picks up your dick like a carrot and just (laughs) jesus that's a greasy question i've seen i've had it thrown at my forehead a couple times there's never been a follow-up question to where you're like no 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 like super committed not like not like that but like is he also a piece of shit yeah but like he cheats, right? <laughs> like, what? Dude, talk to a therapist. That's crazy as fuck. Although Tristan did stroke my ego a little bit, which is weird that I was shy after that. That's how fucking, that's how good the kid was feeling. Because Tristan came up to me. It was like, this lady tried to climb your flagpole or whatever. And normally I'd have been like, you know. That's pop, just how it is. Yeah, you you know, guys pop like me. Uh, yeah, fuck but in, off. But instead I was like, do you, want like a, uh, do you want like a beer? Can I get you a beer? You know, <laughs> I, fucking gay. Me? No, well, no, yes, no, but I'm, 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 I wasn't I'm, offering you beer. I wasn't getting you anything on my tab. I'm saying me. Dummy. No, I bought, I bought you a beer. I know you did because you, you owed uh, me one. Yeah, yeah. I did because Cody I paid agrees. For 
I was about to yeah. say, Cody said, I pawed in that because I paid for oh. your open mic unless you forgot that because you're so hammered. No, you did. I remember that. <laughs> because we had to go to the, the store Wait. next to the place, Wait, which what we Mike also and- got a beer at. We got a beer at that place. We got a beer at that 15. Six, 15 <laughs> Bud Lights. 15 and a half, depending on, you know. the. the Wait, itch. Tristan, what mic did y'all go to in Brooklyn? We went to too many hosts in Brooklyn. Then we took the train up to 42nd Street and uh, did Producers Club. He got to meet Josh and Shane. Okay, for sure, yeah. Are, yeah, you're having a blast with Shane. Dude, Shane is such a fucking hoot. As soon as you he guys come to voice. New York City, he like we got to have Shane on the podcast. He's a yes. fucking... Yeah, he's, he lives with a dominatrix. It's awesome. Yeah, dude, he lives with a dominatrix, and I'm like, how is that? And he's like, it's fucking awesome, bro. Dude, I yeah, haven't like, done dishes in months. Dude, I come <laughs> And down. I'm just Some... like, what does that mean? And he's just like, every time he has a chick over or something, every time she has a chick or a dude over, she just tells him to do the dishes, and he does them. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he's, he's so like matter-of-fact in New York. He's like, I came down one time. There's a guy who's like, Dude, do you want some eggs? He's like, yeah, I'll take some eggs. <laughs> just like just made me some eggs. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll have some <laughs> It's crazy as fuck. We got to have mine. Here, let me tell you how the night ended. So I uh, I leave. After we had just, okay, we so gotta hurry fi- up. 15 Bud Lights, just smoked a joint at the very end. We leave. You send me off. I get on the wrong train because I don't know that it tells you. There's arrows. The, the direction of which the train's the going. In, yeah. You do the hard part. You didn't do the hard part, which is looking up before walking onto the train. Seems like a pretty sick direction, though, for the local to give me. Be like, all right, you're going to go down well, the subway. Turn this, your this, body around. There's two and ways you also, you're going to look up. Yeah, yeah, there's turn- also two ways that cars drive. You're not confused by that. <laughs> so I get on the thing. I end up, and I'm just sitting there vibing, listening to music. Just be like, do, 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 Wait, Daniel. Daniel. Were you uh, looking at the train and you're just like, all right, so my right arm is going this way and the train is going this way. That means it's going uptown and then that way is going downtown. Is that what yeah. you did? Because you know flip I, your body, that will change instantly. The uh, orientation. You know, what, you know what I was down there doing? I was down there trying to do my best, like a beautiful mind impersonation or whatever it's called, where like just numbers were flying everywhere and I was trying to like orientate. Or you trying to rain myself. man the subway system yeah, I was in New York? To sit yeah. there and be like, okay, if I came down and made three 90 degree turns four times, three way, you're like that one. And I just kind of guessed and I was going the wrong way, but I didn't check until I was too far gone. And then I, uh, wait, did like, the subway ever go above ground? No, I didn't really get that far. Okay. The trees thing was a joke, but I got far enough to where the Uber was $67 to get, cause I eventually got frustrated. It was just like, I don't know. And then, so I just got out where I was at. And called an Uber, and then it had had to take me down to Wolfgang's house. And then this is the kicker: when I first got there, so they they let me in. He, it was late as shit. He's like, "All right, man, peace. I'll see you later." Roey's still gone. His girl's there, but I don't know his girl's there. And those are the only people in the house. The fucking smoke alarm starts going off because their place you can't. the The vent was clogged, and the fucking they ran the wa- Wolfgang ran the washing you, machine, what, and it caused. What, a, what were you using a hot comb in the middle of the night? Just trying to get your Sunday best going. Somebody's girlfriend came out and was like, because I was like, I thought I did something. And she was like, what? Were you so hot? You set off the smoke alarm. I won't disclose names, but this is the first time I met this lady. She came out. It is pitch black. I have shirt off, pants on. I'm sitting there and this thing is just like going off. And I have this dehumidifier that has a fan on top pointed at me. So I think I did something. It's just me and this lady. She comes out and there's just a big black dude sleeping on the couch. And she's like, Oh hey! I was like, "Hello, my name." She's like, "There's a guy on the couch." I was like, "You reacted to that? How often does this happen?" And she was like, "Hey!" And that was the first time I met her. Knowing she, that household, quite often. Yeah, and she came back and forth like two or three different times. That was the first time we met. Anyway, that's that's my dream. <laughs> that, was the fir- that was the first time that the guy didn't follow her back into her room. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Though. Anyway, that's a. Uh, no follow up no follow up on that. Hey, pull up the Patreon. We gotta read I, I promised Trevor we read a name because we didn't. Uh he changed his like three or four times. I told him we join the Patreon, www.patreon.com uh, slash final stop podcast. Hundred plus hours of bonus content. The internal affairs is really fun. Oh damn, there's a few there's yeah. a few new. We're encouraged to change your name. Look, change your name on the Patreon. We'll read it. Uh make it some fun, make it some funny. If you're Tristan's dad, make it something that references a deep cut that hurts my feelings. <laughs> oh I like that one. Man. Yeah, all right, here we go. Yeah. Uh let me share it. Hold on, give me a sec. We haven't done this in I don't know, fucking months, damn near. Oh, 
fuck. You have so many goddamn tabs open on this stupid fucking laptop. Sorry, we're we're waiting on we're waiting on production side. How you yeah, doing, bud? It reminds me of my aunt. One time, my aunt Michelle, who is like just cripplingly was addicted to acid in the seventies. She came to spend the night at our house, and she was like, the sound isn't working on our computer, and it was because she had 75 tabs open and three things of Google Chrome, eating up all the RAM. So, let's see what we got. We got Femboy Bussy, I Count Puerto Rico, Motherfucker, Blessed Be His Seed. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Shout out to Femboy Bussy. He's been around for a while. Holy shit. I count. Did I say something about not counting? I did. I was like, but come on. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, dude Wipes Disowned Daniel, which, why did you spell my name like a communist? <laughs> They said he can't wipe right. Fuck off. Hey, <laughs> the reason why, yeah, the reason why Hayden is Hayden is Danish. That's your traditional spelling of Daniel. Oh, okay. All right. So he's communist, not, correct? He he's not Danish. You fucking idiot. You just spelled it stupid. Uh, uh, Carl, Carl. No, you scroll past is, Carl. You scroll past you scroll Carl. Past Carl. <laughs> He's not gonna hear it. He's in the hospital with lupus. No, I saw, I saw him Carl was in the hospital with. Is he seriously in the hospital with? Yeah, lupus? he has lupus. Yeah, he has lupus. Yeah, I saw him yesterday. He didn't look well. No, wait, still what doing, is uh, still doing cocaine, Dad? Shout go out to up Carl. to Brad. Go up to Brad. It's an old one. Oh yeah, yeah. straight up gangster. Hold on, Never what the mind. fuck is that hydro flask one about? Scroll that's, down. That's that's Trevin. <laughs> Richie's hydro flask. Oh, Shout out to Richie's hydro <laughs> that rules. He still carries that around to this day. Kind of creepy. Anyway, that's uh, uh, that's all we got on the Patreon. Tell a friend about the cast. Uh, be a follower of Gus. Yeah, we love you. Shout out to Rich and the uh, the old peace gong. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.